Hey guys, it's Sam, and for this critique video, I was sent this piece by Phil, who said that they struggled with not knowing how to finish it or where to go with it sort of thing. So I know it might not be entirely relevant to your situation, just something for you and anyone else to keep in mind, um, that not every project has to be finished. You can start something and not complete it, and that's okay, especially if it's causing you stress or making you unhappy, like unless it's for a job. <laughs> Um, it's okay to just walk away from it and just not finish it. <laughs> and as an aside, if what's preventing you from finishing it is because you're aiming for perfection or for it to be like the best piece or whatever, that's pretty much impossible. And I'm sure you've probably heard the popular phrase being thrown about finished, not perfect, which discusses the idea that it's more important to finish the project than to continue working on it with this fruitless goal of reaching perfection. Anyway, with all that out of the way, going to your artwork and just my thoughts, I'm mostly going to be asking questions to hopefully trigger some ideas for you and just give you some stuff to think about. So the first thing that comes to mind with me is what are you trying to accomplish with this piece? What are the goals that you had in mind before you started and have they changed at all during the process? And if so, what are those? Was there an emotion you wanted to convey, something you wanted to direct the audience's eyes to? And you don't have to answer these questions to me, just something to answer to yourself. Anyway, not every artwork needs a story or a purpose, but if it helps you find some direction, then thinking about that might help. Why is something a certain way? Like, why are these fish and seal behind her? Was it because you wanted to fill up the space or was it a reason for it? And I ask because it kind of throws off the composition a little bit. I mean, if you want it there, that's fine. Just something to think about. And who is this woman? Like, what is she experiencing? What sort of world does she live in? What message are you trying to send to us as a viewer or even to yourself as a creator? You could be creating this piece like for yourself. And in that case, what are you trying to say to yourself? Because not every artwork has to be for an audience. It could be like for you, it could have meaning just for you. And since I mentioned composition earlier, you can try and think of different compositions for this piece to help you complete it. Um, right now, the first thing I'm drawn to is her skin right here, just because it's so bright compared to the rest of the piece. So I kind of just start here, go down towards her tail, and then I kind of jump over here since this part's kind of bright. And then this sort of leads me up here to these fish and then I'm kind of back over here, then down her arm. And it's kind of doing like this big swirl right here. But you can try the rule of thirds, like just not like changing the entire piece to be the rule of thirds, but just something to think about. Um, this might be a little bit off because I freehanded it, but um, just another composition to consider that might give you some ideas of what to do. It also might help to put your piece in black and white and see where the viewer's eyes are drawn to um, because of your values. Like, is this what you want? Is this how you want it to look? And you don't need like Photoshop to do this. Uh, I've mentioned this a couple times in the past, but like if you have a smartphone, you can take a picture of it and I'm pretty sure they have some sort of black and white filter on there. Or you can just upload it to, I mean, just Google like turn image black and white online. And um, you can go to eZimba, they do that, or just any other, lots of websites probably do it. Or you can get GIMP, GIMP is free too. So if you don't have a smartphone, there's definitely other ways to um, help you see your values by turning the piece black and white. And don't be afraid of having negative space or empty space if you feel it has a purpose. Like, not every artwork has to be busy, full, have stuff everywhere. Um, sometimes I can actually make a piece worse. Like it's too distracting, it's too overwhelming when sometimes simplicity is actually the better route to go. So if you were to go that route, um, probably how I would do it is build a focus more around the mermaid because she is the focus of the piece. So I'd probably get rid of the fish and then just kind of build a sort of dark halo. I'm not saying this is necessarily better or the way to go. Just another thing to think about. And then my um, last thing is 
just what is she looking at? Eyes are insanely important when it comes to us humans. We super care about where people or animals or anything with eyes really are looking and why they are looking at where they are. And right now it kind of looks like she's looking in like this area, whoops, <laughs> this area. And is there a reason for that? Did you want something there? Is it significant? It doesn't have to be. Um, again, just asking questions to get your mind turning. But overall, I think this is a nice piece. I hope I was able to help spring about some ideas for you. If you do end up finishing it, feel free to send it my way. I'd be curious to see what you end up doing with it. And thank you for your submission. If any of you guys watching would like to see some more critiques, I have a playlist linked in the description down below. Oh, she's kind of looking at my description. She's like, go check out the other critiques. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.